What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be going through all of the Summer Festival Adventure Islands which are now right now live on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. Uh, I've been getting a bunch of comments on YouTube, Twitch, Discord, literally everywhere. Like everywhere people have been saying you know how do you complete these islands. So in the video today we're going to go ahead and just break down all of these islands uh, well, specifically the first one is the main one where a lot of people are struggling to defeat it. Now, it's not the fact that, you know, you need to bring a, a team that is extremely powerful, that can deal lots and lots of damage. It's more of the fact that it's, it's a really challenging island because it doesn't really give you that many details as to how to defeat it. However, one thing I will have to say here is that this character will help you out significantly, which is the Fat Usopp, because he does have a crewmate ability once you limit break him, which means that he cannot be blown away. So for those of you who have already already tried this island once before um you know your characters will start getting blown away but if you have a character like this you basically will auto win it so that's not even going to be an issue but i want to go through it anyway to show you guys how you can actually beat this dungeon so as i said the way that it works is is on each of these stages there are going to be ghost characters like perona's ghosts and you have to kill some of them but some of them you actually want to leave alive and if you attack them or kill them in the wrong order then you are start to get your characters blown away. So I'll show you guys how exactly this works. So we can move on to stage two here. Stage one is a little bit of information about the dungeon. Doesn't really give us much detail, but we can see we have both of the ghosts are Psy characters. And we can see one of them has a small HP bar. The other one has a large HP bar. So with Psy or Int ghosts, you want to go ahead and kill any of them that have a large HP bar. So this one on the right hand side, we can go ahead and kill him and leave the small HP Psy and Int characters alive. And we can see they run away and they don't do anything. So now we're on stage three. We have a whole bunch of different ghosts here. Uh, we actually want to go ahead and kill the large HP ghost here. And for strength, dex, and quick ghosts, you want to kill all of them that have small HP bars. So we want to kill this one right here, and we want to kill the one at the back corner, and we leave the other two alive, and boom, we won't get our characters blown away, which is great. So now we're moving on to what stage is it? I think it's stage four? Yes, yeah, stage four. Okay, so now what we want to do here, we can see that we have a bunch of different ghosts. Um, we want to kill all of the short HP bars that have... Uh, uh, strength decks and quick which there are none on this dungeon and then we want to kill the sign int ones that have the large hp bar we can see there is one of them so we want to go ahead and kill the purple one here and leave the other three alive and we should be good to go moving on to stage five with none of our characters blown away so far and there we go so now we move on to stage number five so stage five we have perona here and she actually gives us a little bit of information as to uh what we should actually be doing here now remember once again we want to be going ahead and killing any of the sign int with large bars and uh, strength takes and quick with small bars. So what we can do here is we can actually just kill this one and uh, not kill any of the rest of them. And then we're actually good to go once again. Like once you figure out what the pattern actually is, it's actually not really that difficult, which is great. So stage six now, uh, we want to actually kill the, the small red ghost, which has uh, the small HP bar. And we also want to kill the one at the back here as well, which has the large HP bar. So only two of them have to be cleared on this stage here. Boom and boom. And I think... I think I did it correctly. Okay, we got Fush, we got Fush, and we got Fush. Okay, there we go. Now we move on. So that is completed now. Uh, is there one more stage? Yeah, there's one more stage of ghosts here. Uh, so now we can see here for strength, dex, and quick, we want to kill the small HP bars, which there are none. And then for sign int, we want to kill the long HP bars, which there are two of them. So let's go ahead and kill this one, and we want to kill this one. And I think with that, we should be completed with this island. Fush, Fush and push there we go so as i said once you figure out the pattern it's completely easy and now we move on to the final boss stage perona doesn't do anything here uh and we're completed that's it that's it we're done the perona stage is now complete so hopefully that uh that, that actually give you a little bit of information about this island because i know a lot of people were struggling with it but you know if you have that usopp the fat usopp it actually doesn't matter you know which ones you defeat because usopp can't be blown away so you're you're guaranteed the victory uh, if you have that fat Usopp on your team, which is actually really, really nice. So now let's move on to the next of these islands, which is going to be... Uh, which one is it? I don't actually remember which one it is. I think it's the tap timing one, uh, and because there's also one with slot barriers. 
uh, summer festival uh, shooting gallery. Yes, okay, so this one uh, is based on your skill in the game. You have to try and hit your tap timings correctly so you can kill the mobs on each of these stages. So let's go ahead and break down this stage. Okay, so moving on to the shooting gallery, which is the second of the Summer Festival dungeons. We can see that we get despaired, we get special binded, our ship is special binded. They don't want you to use specials that can basically you know, allow you to win the dungeon uh, easier. So no tap timing bonus, uh, etc. Like you can't basically bring anything. So as long as you bring six characters on your crew, that is the important thing. You need to bring six characters because some of these uh, characters on the crew or some of the characters that you actually will be facing have like uh, barriers where you have to hit six perfect. So in that specific circumstance, you want to make sure that you have six characters on your crew, of course. Uh, and then we're on this stage here with the penguins. Now, if you are unable to kill all the penguins and you actually end up taking damage it's not really a big issue because the penguins deal something like four or five damage each and we can see we have 40 hp so we have like a set amount of like uh, a set amount of uh incorrect taps uh before we actually die which is not a big issue you know you can actually get through this relatively easily but yeah as i said it's just based on your tap timing so it's just based on your skill in the game and that's about it that's all i really want to show with this specific dungeon i don't want to go all the way through it because it is pretty self-explanatory main the main one that we really wanted to go through though was the perona dungeon because i know many of you guys out there were messaging me about that specific dungeon so let's go ahead and now move on to the last one which is going to be the summer festival ring toss which again is very similar to the shooting gallery that we just did the only difference is is it is a little more rng but still at that point it is still quite uh, simplistic to go through um, with this specific dungeon it's pretty much the same sort of structure as the shooting gallery except that it's based on you having a certain amount of orbs on your team to use those orbs to break through the slot barrier once again we can see our ship is despaired where despaired as well as the special bind now we can see that this penguin here you need to hit him with a strength orb in order for you to actually go ahead and break his barrier and kill him they don't have much hp at all so as long as you have the orbs to break through their barrier that is the main component here uh we don't have a strength orb we do have a dex orb so we can go ahead and attack that with that we have a quick orb to get through there and we just want to shuffle our orbs around to make sure that we can uh you know get a a uh another orb here strength orb perfect so we did get a strength orb let's change some variety here of our orbs and we can see at the top there we do have a countdown so we do have a certain amount of turns uh before we actually will instantly die so that is also on your mind but it, as i said as long as you are shuffling your orbs around every single turn to try and get the orbs that you really need you shouldn't really have too many issues with uh with clearing this dungeon here uh we'll go ahead and do this and then this, see, that that was a perfect run there. And we got a side orb there to finish him off. Perfect run there on stage three. Now moving on to stage four, we have a rainbow penguin barrier roulette. Strength, dex, quick, sign, int. So we have to hit him with two strength orbs this time. Unfortunately, we don't have that. But we do have, uh, we were actually able to get the dex orbs if he does stay for one more turn, which I don't know if he does. No, I think he's going to go away. Oh, no, he is a, he's here. Okay, perfect. So we can go ahead and kill him with two dex orbs, which is exactly what we have kill the rainbow pirate penguin and simple as you like and look we're already at the boss stage very very easy barrier roulette strength dex quick sigh int barrier roulette int sigh quick dex strength and then the penguin also has a barrier roulette so you have to hit him with two of a specific orb in order to break through their barriers we can actually break through this one here uh and we don't have a secondary quick orb we do have another strength orb next turn but it's not really going to help us out too much then so let's go ahead and just do that and see what the next turn has in store for us and now we have like eight more turns for us to finish off this final boss stage so yeah it, it really shouldn't be that much of an issue here we got um we have two quick orbs two strength orbs okay so i guess we'll just wait on these orbs until uh the barriers come around to the orb that we need and that's really what you should be doing in order to beat this a lot easier so now we can clear this one and now we are one away from actually clearing that one so we can go ahead and uh do this and kill off the secondary penguin and now we just have this one at the back here which i don't know what barrier he's on now but we have two strength orbs here so we can literally just wait there we go boom two strength orbs and that is that very very easy to go through it very simplistic and now we'll talk about the final of the summer festival dungeons
All right, so now to finish off this, we are going to go ahead and talk about the fireworks dungeon, which is the actual ranking mission. So with this ranking mission, you have to try and get 7.5 million damage in a single turn of attacks. Now, the good thing about this is that you get a full board of matching orbs at the start of the fight. You can only use two specials per turn, though, which is kind of annoying, uh, but you can actually use any conditional boost that you want. So this team is pretty easy to build outside of the Hachi, to be quite honest. Uh, if you don't have Hachi, you could probably replace him with... Uh, with something else either some sort of other conditional booster here but uh with this team pretty simplistic we can go ahead and use the big mom special to get the full board of g orbs and all of the boosts that she provides to our team as well and then we can use the hachi special to get the conditional boost as well as uh, changing those orbs into fully matching orbs for our team and literally that is it that is all we need in order to deal enough damage to complete this ranking mission because of the nightmare luffy getting the 3.5 times captain ability at the end there which is great uh and that's it. So that, that's literally it. You know, the Summer Festival Islands, very, very simplistic, as I said, throughout the entire video. Just the Perona Dungeon, which I think a lot of people were a little bit upset about. But that is going to conclude the video, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.